this is so cute. The writing is a little bit, the writing is a little bit draggy. Like I'm kind of just like, okay, get to the point. It really went all out with the decorations for the, there's some sparks flying. <laughs> Let me put this damn kettle down. Child, I still have this much left. <laughs> this is feeling like a 24 hour read. <laughs> It's feeling like a 24 hour read thought, boy, I am fighting for my life. Oh, well, the whole book is that. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't care. <laughs> like, why did that need to be included? Hello, book tuning world. It is I, Kafri Nicole, and I am back with another video. So if the screen is a little bit crooked, uh, just, just pretend not to see. Okay, I'm doing my best here. We're in a different location. We are in my room. This is like, honestly, this is like my favorite place to read, which is also my downfall because I am a huge sleepyhead and I always end up falling asleep. Nevertheless, that did not deter me from wanting to come up with this series, which is gonna be called the Slept On series. So, I figured that I will start the series called the Slept On series where I would have like a weekend slumber party, to my private party, and turn into a slumber party where I just would read non-stop read to the best of my ability basically like a readathon but not timed and just like slumber party themed so I have all these fun activities to do with you guys it's just like a slumber party with the island you know what I'm saying I got a cute little you know pajama fit because I am not a pajama girl I want to be so bad but your girl be hot I be sweating in my sleep and it just simply just won't do and I also got a new friend I haven't decided on a name for him yet maybe we should name him together on the island but he is like he a heated friend and he is also lavender scented so I'm just very enamored with him so this series is going to be where I read books that were really popular that I completely missed there are so many books that y'all have asked my opinion for <laughs> in the past that were really popular that I never read like Six of Crows, Ninth House, uh, The Poppy War, Jade War, Night Circus, like all of those books that I completely never read. I think it's time that I su subject a specific series to those popular books and I figured that I would call the series the slept on series because I basically slept on those books you know what I'm saying I never got around to those guys yeah so a lot of the books I do own and I figured I would kick it off with Night House and Hellbent I'm a little bit nervous because a booktuber that I have similar fantasy taste to said this book was boring so I'm a little bit scared <laughs> but I've heard really good things about Hellbent. So my goal is to read as much as I possibly can. I don't have any other plans this weekend. I literally am just gonna read and just do the activities that I have planned with y'all. So like, I even got like a little notebook for us to like play games and stuff. I got friendship bla bracelet kit, I got the mask, I got pizza, I got stuff to make a sundae. We're gonna watch Heartstopper. Like it's gonna just be a whole eventful weekend where I'm just in the house doing stuff and reading. Like there is no better plans to be had than to just be in the house reading and just doing fun stuff. So I'm excited to do this series with you guys. If there is anything specific you want me to read for the series, I do have a list that I'm rolling out as of right now. So I'm basically going off of that list, but I really did want to start with Hellbent and The Knife House. I'm really hoping I fly through these. I don't know, these these books, this looking a little thick, and you know, your girl is a slow reader, but I, I'm gonna do my best, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try to just focus on reading, do a whole bunch of sprints, and hopefully finish these <laughs> finishing two big fantasy books in one weekend is like very ambitious very ambitious of me but you know these are set in my hometown these are set set in connecticut you know what i'm saying in yale university have i ever been there no but it is set set in my hometown so i'm you know maybe that'll make me fly through this a little bit faster i'm a little bit frightened because these are looking like full-blown pages okay 
it's all right it's all good so this is gonna be a fun weekend it's gonna be fun to hang out with you guys I'm excited I've been wanting to do this series for a while unfortunately tomorrow I am doing one thing which is getting my lashes done I'm in the middle of filming another video at the same time of this one so if my eyes are a little bit red that is gonna be why later in the video so I'm really excited I'm excited I hope I hope I like the books child if I end up hating the books it's gonna make the weekend even longer honey you've got a big storm coming but we'll we'll see how it goes all right so I will see you guys in the next clip okay bye Ooh, so far away where's the record button all right y'all let's chat so let's talk about knife house child <laughs> i don't know what the hell is going on i'm almost 40 pages in okay well we almost 40 pages in i simply don't know what's happening i think i have an idea so basically i think it's following the main character her name is alex and she's in yale and there's like this fantasy magical aspect where there's like this underground sorority where they are uh, operating on people that are still alive and they don't consciously know that they're being operated on i don't know what the reason behind it even is or why they're doing this to begin with but th that's what i'm gathering it's very interesting the writing is a little bit the writing is a little bit draggy like i'm kind of just like okay get to the point it feels a little meandering but like there's a lot of big words in here too <laughs> but it's like i'm assuming this is a fantasy book so i definitely want to get deeper into it today this is the start of the day if y'all hear thing one and thing two in the background screaming and hollering they're both in trouble because they decided last night they were going to go through the dumpster they were going to go dumpster diving so right now they are both in timeout that's why they're crying in the background neither one of them are in harm's way but that's why okay but let me take my glasses off y'all it's a little bit of a glare so that's what's going on with the book and i'm gonna do like a little bit of a two hour sprint i think i'm just gonna keep doing i'm gonna alternate between doing an hour sprint and a two hour sprint and then i also wanted to watch heartstopper today i read the graphic novels and i thought they were just okay but everyone says the adaptation is so much better so i'm trying to see what that's about but today what's on our agenda is obviously doing a ton of sprints for ninth house i'm gonna read ninth house i also have a few things here so we're gonna do a mask this is a hydrolonic acid hydrating mask all i saw was that it was made in korea and it has a cute little bear on it so speaking of bear what should we name him y'all i feel like i feel like it gotta be something cute like tulip <gasps> What if we, what if, let's make it a girl. He looks like a boy though. If I name him Tulip, will he be mad? But it could be a girl. There's girl dinosaurs. What's the girl dinosaur name on Toy Story? We should name her that. I think I'm gonna, uh, but it looks like a boy. It looks like a boy. Maybe I should put a little bow on his head. Should we name him Tulip? I feel like all, I like naming all of my things like flower themed. So I think I'm going to name him Tulip. Tulip is so cute. I think I'm going to name him Tulip. I can name him Tulip. I can name him Tulip and make it a girl. Or I can name him Vine and make him a boy. I think Vine would fit better because he's green and he look like a boy. Comment down below and let me know who y'all think we should name our little slumber party friend. We should either, it's either going to be a girl and we're going to name him Tulip. I'm going to put a little bow on him. Or it's going to be a boy and we're going to name him Vine and that just fits. I feel like Vine fits better. But comment down below, let me know what y'all think. This is going to be our little friend for every slumber party. But okay, so I have a mat, a sheet mask that I want to do. I don't know what happened, but Walmart used to be up. Walmart used to have all the best sheet masks, and all of a sudden, child, they ain't there no more. I don't know where they at. But when I went to TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx had all of the good, fun masks, and they just were so cute. So look at this. It looks like a little, 
it's like a little boba drink how freaking cute is that i also got these little pineapple things these little pineapple ice things that you put on your eyes like you know like cucumbers but they're liquid and you put them in the freezer and they look they have little pineapples in them so i have that too so we're gonna do our little mask put the little things on our eyeballs child and then we're gonna do our first sprint of the day so that's what we have going on and then i also want i got this little notebook so then i also i think i'm gonna write my reviews in here like just like the basics like what i end up rating it how i things i feel about it, like notes and stuff like that and then i also want to play mash like if you're a 90s kid or if you ever went to like slumber parties growing up like one of the biggest games that we used to play with our friends would be mash but i don't fully remember how to play it so i'm gonna have to google how to play it but i remember it was like it determines like who you marry what your house is gonna look like your car and how many kids you have I, i'm pretty sure that's what mash was and it just was like a certain way that you had to play so i'm gonna play mash i can't remember if i have to have other people with me in order to play mash but i got the island with me so we're gonna figure it out okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put all that in here and then i figure since we're doing like a little spa moment i figure i could just put i could just light this little candle this is twisted peppermint from bath and body works it kind of goes with the vibe i feel like if i'm doing a mask and it's kind of like a spa i should use the peppermint one so we're going to put this peppermint candle on we're going to do some reading we're going to do a little mask moment you know what i'm saying this woosa kumbaya start the day off right you know what i'm saying so i will see y'all in the next clip show okay bye um, i made it worse so, all right should i lift this shit alone i've been looking for this remote for months my boyfriend came over and found it in like five minutes months i've been looking for this remote and now every time i look for it i can't find it unless he's here whatever there's no boys allowed in this slumber party so let's see i'm gonna put some spa music on <laughs> so i really feel like we're in a spa oh i gotta light the candle too There we go. Okay, what's with the hair right now? <laughs> okay, we have our candle lit. Ta da! They really went all out with the decorations for the. There's some sparks flying. <laughs> Let me put this damn candle down. Okay, we can admire it from afar. These are little pineapple things I was telling y'all about. They go on your eyeballs. They're nice and cool. I put them in there last night. Okay. Let's see. I know I said spa music, but I like the fairy magic music. The closer I can get to being a fairy, the better. Fortune Teller's Whimsical Caravan. Love that. Let's go there. different music on for like a slumber party but this is YouTube baby we can't get copyright claim I think I'm really gonna name him Vine I really like that name I really like the name Vine I think let me know if y'all think we should name him Vine he oh he's just so cuddly Oh. Let me see.
see if I can do this on camera. Mmm, it smells good. Little bears on it. These always make you look so crazy, but it's okay. <laughs> look at the little bears, y'all. How cute! Okay, let's see. Um, just gotta shift the bang, the wig bang back. Mmm, that's sexy. Okay, I did good. I got it all on one go. I look like a fish. See you in your nightmares. Okay. Just make sure we get the neck, you know what I'm saying? That's what keep you looking young. Covering my nose. Where the little nose flip? What a look, baby. What a look. I look like a little fish. Don't worry, I'm getting my lashes done today. Fear not. All in my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop me But I don't wanna play your fair Yeah, something That makes me look at you too often oh, Baby, you can give for something Baby, I do it all the time Whew. Okay, y'all <laughs> Alright, so the mask was a success your girl skin my skin acts quickly okay it soaks up things very fast so the mask is soaked up it feels so good my eyes feel good everything feels good i just feel refreshed about to do a two hour sprint and hopefully get further into this book hopefully my attention span is where i need it to be i just ordered some breakfast so i'm gonna start my forest app timer and we're gonna get to it Uh, ain't no way this girl got into Yale with no high school diploma and no GED. Okay. <laughs> I know this is a work of fit. Listen, I know for a fact this is a work of fiction from that alone. Okay. Getting into Yale with no GED, no high school diploma. Okay. Okay, girl. Let me do a little bit of an update. Let me see. What chapter am I on? So, I am a little over. Okay, so my eyes are going to be a little bit red because I did go get my lashes done. But hopefully that doesn't bother you. Okay. Put my hair in two little braids. Alright, so I'm like 150 pages in. Once I got to like page 50... I, everything started clicking and I also started doing a little bit of a, a tabbing situation going on I am in, really enjoying it. So basically it's following the main character. Her name is Alex and she's going to Yale University And there's these eight houses that are like underground societies that all handle and deal with dark and deal with magic in different ways It's kind of dark. It's kind of twisted. It's kind of sinister I think it's really interesting. I think the magic system is pretty cool. This book is really, really dense. <laughs> Once I got like 100 pages in, I was reading physically. I was like, yeah, it's time to pick up an audiobook because I'm like, I really want to finish this one today because I want to at least start Hellbent tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 
so that I can also close out the vlog because it's really only supposed to last two or three days so the slumber party is really just supposed to be during the weekend so I wasn't trying to prolong this for too long and I'm in the middle of so many books I'm like I don't even want to give it the chance to be added to my currently reading so I'm definitely finishing this today got a copy of it on Libby and I'm listening to the audiobook for that so I read like a hundred a little bit over a hundred it was like 115 pages so I read like 115 pages physically and I'm currently listening to the audiobook I'm like 150 160 pages in now and I'm really enjoying it I'm just trying to make sure I pay attention I really think I would have been able to to I would have enjoyed it more reading it slowly and just physically reading it but because we're on a little bit of a time crunch I don't really have time for that okay and then people always say that the second book is better so I'm really just trying to get through this one and get comfortable with the world the characters and Alex in general so that I can move on to the next one if you read this book or if you haven't read it yet I'm sure you have because this is like I said this series is supposed to be me reading books that are really popular that I completely slept on you know what I'm saying so I'm sure you have already read this but if you haven't please check the trigger warnings for this because there are some very intense scenes and they're difficult to get through but for the most part it's a really cool story it's interesting like the academic setting is done really well. The magical setting is done really well too. It just feels so sinister and so like secretive. Like even when you find out things that's going on in the school, it kind of feels like you're not supposed to know. And I really like the way that the houses are set up. In the back of the book, it explains what each house is. I think there's eight houses. And then I think Lethe, which is the so, uh, society that Alex is a part of. That's like the ninth house, which is the title. That's like the ninth house. And it's kind of like the, I want to say like the protector of the other houses, kind of like the one that uh, protects them all from spirits, protects them all from just like magical issues. And because Alex has the ability to see ghosts, they basically recruited her to become to become the protege of this guy named Darlington and he is basically like her mentor he's showing her around he's getting her comfortable with the society and everything and they're using her specifically because she has the ability to see ghosts and stuff like that so it gives them a one-up so that's essentially what this entire book is her following him around and each chapter is flipping back and forth between current day and the past which I think the past is winter and I think current day Darlington is missing I don't know if he's missing because he was kidnapped or he was killed or because he cannot see spirits there's this uh, exilier I can't I can't remember how to pronounce this but it's this potion that he drinks in order to be able to see spirits but every time he does that something goes wrong or puts him more in danger so i'm not sure if maybe he did that too many times and he ended up dying or he ended up being in an alternate universe or something i don't know but in current day he is missing and there's a girl that was like brutally murdered and alex is trying to figure out if it has any ties to the sororities or specifically what happened to the girl because before she came to the school she was mixed up in a homicide and she was one of the only survivors and she feels like it's similar to what happened during that night so she's just trying to figure out what's going on with that and that's basically what the book is following child I still have this much left <laughs> this is feeling like a 24 hour read <laughs> it's feeling like a 24 hour read that boy I am fighting for my life but we got the audiobook as of right now, my plan is to listen for maybe like another hour and a half and then make a little drinky drink, you know what I'm saying? I saw this little, cause I made a Pinterest board for the slumber party and I saw this little drink where it was like a wine glass and they put cotton candy in it and it was like the, the wine was pink. So it looked really cute, but I don't have any pink wine, I don't think. I think I only have like Taylor Port. So we're going to pretend that it's pink wine, but I did get cotton candy. I got watermelon flavored cotton candy, so I could put that in there. And I got this really cool glass that's pink, so I think it'll be fun. And then I also got pizza. 
which I'm gonna make after I finish this sprint up and I figured we can watch Heartstopper because I like I said I wa I read the graphic novel I thought it was okay but everyone says the adaptation is better so I want to see how the adaptation is maybe watch a couple episodes of that and then I also want to play MASH so it's gonna be a very long night because I'm making sure I finish this today because tomorrow is gonna be hell bent that's, that's what we're gonna focus on tomorrow so I just want to get through this I want to finish this up I read 115 pages physically the rest is looking like audiobook because I'm trying to wrap this up I'm not gonna have any choice but to read physically because I don't think hell bent is available on my library so pray for me please pray for me yes okay so that's where we're at right now with that so i will see you guys in the next clip okay bye we have a little snack plate okay we got some pretzels cheese strawberries and i made i made the little drink this is the glass if y'all can see it's a little pink glass it's super cute I got this for the sleepover and I got I put the little cotton candy on top. Ta -da! What is a slumber party without junk food? Okay y'all, so this whole little slumber party is just full of junk food. Because back in the day, when you could eat ever, whatever you wanted as a child and you wouldn't have to worry about gaining weight or your metabolism or none of that, it was just junk food and vibes. No stress and absolutely no bills. So, <laughs> I'm gonna make a sundae. I have all these different things. I got strawberries. I still have the whip shots over here. Whip shots. I got chocolate covered pretzels. I got the little mixed nuts. I got this. This is like my this is what my mom used to always use whenever we would make sundaes, which is like it's chocolate that gets harder when it gets on something cold. So if it's like cold ice cream, it'll harden. And my mom always got this like every single time that we did sundaes cuz my mom used to do stuff like this with us. I got this gelato flight which is like holiday ice cream from Aldi's because y'all already know Aldi's is the wave, okay? So they have this really cool like little ice cream, wait, can you focus? They have this really cool ice cream flight which is like three different flavors. So I'm gonna use this ice cream and I'm gonna make a little Sunday bowl action going on so that we can watch some more of Heartstopper. I was gonna scoop these out and put them in a bowl but look at how cute they are. Oh my God, this is the eggnog one. I'm gonna show y'all before I destroy it. The cotton candy gelato one. How freaking cute. Ain't no way you struggling like this. Okay, pumpkin pie. This one doesn't really have a topping, but it's super cute. Look at that, adorable. Hey, little island, I ain't gonna hold you, but I did my big one with this Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Get into it. I've already started eating some of it, but we got pretzels, whipped cream, strawberry. We got nuts. You know what I'm saying? We got all three different flavors of the gelato, so it's like creamy and good whipped cream. Bus, okay? And then the chocolate is like a perfect little mix. This Sunday, I really did my thing. You know what I'm saying? I really, truly did. Right. 
Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if my, listen, okay. If my hair looks crazy, pretend not to see because it's the end of the slumber party. So it, it's not going to be as put together. Okay. So I finished the book. Like I told y'all. I was gonna pick up the audiobook, so I listened to the remainder pages. I read like 150 pages physically, and then the rest of them I listened to it on audiobook. And so many things have transpired as far as my feelings towards this book. Ah, the ghetto! The ghetto! In the past day. Okay, so I finished the book. Um. I'm, I think I'm going to land it on a 2.75. And here's why. I think for me, the idea of this book is cool. The bones of this book is cool. The magic system is cool. The setting is interesting. But the execution is something about this book that just didn't hit the nail on the head. Is it the nail on the head or the hammer on the nail? whatever it ain't hit okay it didn't hit the <laughs> the, the nail on the head i think that's the saying it didn't hit the the nail on the head child um and here's why so what was most interesting in this book to me was the magical system and the houses i thought you know once i read the glossary that explained what each house each of the eight houses were and just the secrecy of it the way it's like underground it's dark they're operating and dissecting on like people that are still alive that don't even remember what happens after it just has this very sinister feel to it it's set in like academia so we have that mixed in there and all of that is interesting but that was not the focus of this book. The focus of this book was Alex, the main character, thinking she is the top-notch detective of the world. Like, top flight security, Craig. Like, she really, truly thought she just was gonna figure everything out. The whole book is literally just her trying to figure out who killed this girl, Tara. And she thinks it's linked to the magical society. She thinks it's linked to what happened. So the whole book is that. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I, I'm not a mystery girly. I hate books that are like a crime and you're trying to solve it. I don't know why. I just simply don't like books like that. I don't care. Like, having one plot that you're trying to succeed in finding the end of is like my least favorite genre mystery my least favorite genre because i simply just don't give a you know what i'm saying like okay the girl dead and you try to figure out if it's connected to the magical societies okay i get that but being the type of reader that i am it just didn't mesh well because i just don't like mystery i don't care about mystery i didn't give a damn about her you know doing anything Except when she would use like the magical abilities in order to get answers. Like when she used the coins, I thought that was cool. It reminded me of a daughter smoking bone. It gave me those vibes because she used like these magical coins in order to get people to do what she wants, lure them in, stuff like that. They were going to parties where there were gods there that were using illusions to control them and control their minds. I thought that was interesting. The other character in here, Darlington. Uh, kind of getting pushed into a different well I don't want to spoil it but I feel like this book has been out long enough where I there's nothing I can spoil but Darlington getting put in a different setting quote unquote I thought that aspect was interesting <sighs> I thought all of the cool interesting things were simply just not the focal point of the whole book like the focal point of this whole book was just her playing detective and these crazy and it was so grotesque like me personally i like books that are gruesome and gory but not like this this is like dirty gory like if you're talking about blood fighting scenes people getting stabbed you know whatever fighting beating people up stuff like that i like stuff like that in books because it's interesting but when we talking about eating sh like 
eat feces in the mouth as a payback i know he like this this dude was a terrible person he did your friend grimy but why he gotta eat sh <laughs> why did that need to be included why do we need to see that on page on page why do we need to see that i was i was pondering why that that the why why did we need to see that <laughs> it just was like so many references to vomit and bodily fluids and just so many detailed gruesome like essay scenes i was just so simply uncomfortable hold on my mom's calling me it's crooked this whole time chill there we go Sorry, y'all. My mom called me. So, anyway, like I was saying, yeah, I just didn't care, bro. Like, and she just, I, that's another thing. I don't like the main character. Like, her personality was her being racially ambiguous and skinny and emo-ish. Like, dark hair, dark eyes, you know, very grungy, very it's a hard not life Annie vibes. But I just didn't give a damn. I could not have given less of a damn about this book. And the crazy thing is, like, I really thought I was going to read this and Hellbent. And I was fighting for my life to finish this. Specifically because it's very dense. Like, the writing, there are some big words in here. The writing style, just... Just cracking down on a fantasy book is not for the week. And it's damn near enough for people to finish in one damn day. For me to think that I was going to finish this and Hellbent in the same weekend, I was so ambitious. Wow. Past me was so ambitious. But for me not to even like this hell no. I'm not, I'm not reading. I don't even think I'm reading Hellbent. Because I couldn't, Hellbent is a hell no right now. It's a definite hell no, nah. and I'm upset because I know the setting of that book, I know it's going to be about, and I felt like I would like that more. But would I? Because I don't give a damn about the main character. It, it just gives, like, she's just one of them girls that hang out with all the guys, and she has such a hard past life, and she was a druggie, and she wear dark clothes and long sleeves, and she say little quirky, dark things about herself and people just be like why do you hate yourself or why do you think that or bro who cares like honestly <laughs> not i i'm gonna tell you who don't give a damn it's me <laughs> it's me yeah i don't give a damn and i'm i'm damn sure not reading no damn hell man that ain't happening so i, I apologize y'all i truly thought we was gonna kick off this series with some bangers i really thought the slumber party slept on series would be kicked off with like a loved book because everybody was eating ninth house up like this couldn't nobody pull this book out of nobody these these girls hands they just dark academia magical fantasy they was just raving about this damn book this was garbage like I don't even want to say it was garbage because the writing wasn't bad. It's not like the writing was poor. But the the direction of the story, it was too focused on the mystery of the murder. It was too focused on the mystery of the murder. We should have been focusing on the magic system and the houses. Because that's where the interesting stuff was. Like she made this cool world... And didn't even really, I mean, she did dive into it, but it would just be like talking about it in passing or talking about the outcome or talking about whatever. But I wanted to see, like, I wanted to see her deep diving and exploring into, like, I felt like she did a little bit, but it wasn't the, the focal point. It wasn't a focal point. So I didn't care. I did not give a damn. So there's that. But you know what? We, hey, 2.75 stars. We ain't gonna harp on that too much, but let's talk about something great. You know what was was phenomenal? Heartstopper. Heartstopper, I slept on this adaptation for so long and my 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 it is so well done. They casted the hell out of this show. They picked the perfect characters. They look exactly like the characters in these damn books and they act 
and have so well have great chemistry the friendship groups have great chemistry it's diverse it has like the little cartoon things added into it i love when an adaptation happens and then it does like the like the cartoony little things around them like i think red white and royal blue kind of did something similar where it would like put the text messages in the screen i just like the animation of like i like the way certain adaptations add in animations to like real life scenes like they'll put up the text messages or they'll put the characters next to each other even though they're not next to each other or they'll put fireworks in between them or they'll change the coloring background to like red or blue if they're sad or whatever it is just eating okay episode three i cried three times i cried when they were at the party and they were um racing each other i thought it, that was adorable i cried when they kissed okay i cried when he was in the car with his daddy it just ah uh, it's eating you feel all the emotions you feel the confusion you feel the push and pull of like getting to know who you are as a person your sexuality all this question everything friendship groups changing life changing you're changing becoming a young adult is not for the weak okay especially in the high school days and when change starts happening being someone that is not good with change I know what that feels like that shit is tough like I went through a lot of different things as a young adult where just change was happening and I simply didn't know what the hell was going on so I understand I feel for them and this is just this adaptation is so well done it's just so pure it's so cute I just love when they're in the scene together and he just says like hi and it's just like he just they just say oh I'm just eating it up I'm eating it up like when they say hi to each other it just sounds like they're so out of breath and so infatuated with each other each other he just like excels like he excels saying hi like hi like he just couldn't wait to say it it's just so cute I am so excited to keep going I got like I think I think I'm halfway through so I got four more episodes but Heartstopper is eating my Sunday also ate down so that was phenomenal but we're coming to the end of this video y'all the last couple things i want to do is i got this little <laughs> let me show y'all this chill i got this little <laughs> i got these friendship kits and i wanted to make a friendship bracelet for the island i wanted to make a friendship bracelet for the island you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna keep watching heartstopper i'm gonna do this and I think I'm gonna play MASH and then we're gonna just close the video out because who, child, y'all already know how I get down. I get to talking and the video will be six hours long, okay? So we, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and close it out, but this just looks so fun. Make a friendship bracelet. I just, man, my summer parties used to eat down. When I was in grade school and, and middle school, I had the best slumber parties, okay? So I just remember all the things we used to do. We used to play MASH. We used to have a whole bunch of junk food, watch movies, karaoke party, friendship bracelets, talk about boys. Like, it just was a bee's knees, you know what I'm saying? I loved my slumber parties growing up. My mom used to really do her big one with my slumber parties. So it's just reminiscent of that, and it's just so fun. So I think I'm going to make the friendship bracelets while I keep watching Heartstopper, play MASH, and then we're going to close the vlog out because we ain't reading the next book. That's the end. Ain't no other book to read, okay? But, yeah, there's that, okay? I will see you guys in the next clip, okay? We used to have each other's playlists. No, no. We used to be each other's best friends. Here is the final result. I put some pink, I put some purple, I put some fruit. You know what I'm saying? These are my favorite colors, and you already know. I gotta rep the island, of course. And then I put put a little ring here and I put a clasp here I low-key want to wear it but I'd be so skeptical with these because I'd be scared these things are gonna just like break and all the beads they're just gonna fall maybe I can put it on my keychain or my wallet or something but it's super cute you know what I'm saying very cute and it wasn't too bad making this it was fun 
doing this and watching Heart Stopper. Do it quick, do it quick, do it quick, do it quick. Oh, I'll be so scared of these damn bracelets. Oh, it's so cute. This made me think about uh, the music festivals I used to go to in my early 20s. What a time that was, okay? Because we used to do this little handshake thing and then we would like pass the bracelet on to the other person. Everybody was hot. It was a mess, okay? So <laughs> I'm going to do the final thing for I Little Slumber Party, which is trying this Hydro Under Eye Mask. What do I got to do with this? Apply to clean dry skin under the eyes. Leave for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. All right. The little stars. Oh, my God. These are so cute. Okay, let's put okay, let's put a little under eye mask on. I wonder if it's gonna be cool. Okay, it's looking a little. Is it gonna stick? Is it gonna stick to my eye? Cause how am I gonna hold this up? Oh. Ooh. That feel weird. Feel weird. Okay. I just stick it there. Is it gonna stay? <gasps> it stays. <gasps> oh, is it supposed to be that close to my eye? Okay, purry. Okay, let's put the other one on. All right, little island. It feels slimy. It's like an eel. Oh my god. <gasps> this is so cute. And it feels so good. Is it already sliding? I okay. Twenty five minutes. This might start sliding, y'all. So if I start looking crazy, cause y'all know I'm very animated. So if it starts sliding, then a hey, it is what it be. Now, is it already sliding? I feel like I feel like this one's sliding. But it's so cute. So cute. Okay. So we're gonna play mash. <laughs> So mash is where you figure out who you get married to, what your house gonna be. Where my pen at? What your house gonna be? What kind of car you gonna have? What kind of job you gonna have? So let's get into her. So you put mash at the top. I think the first thing you put is job. I think it's job, car, uh, spouse, job, car, spouse, house. I can't remember. Oh, and then you have to put kids. And then the circle goes here. So kids. The circle goes here. Okay. So job. Let's see. We're going to put some good ones on here. Oh, well, we, we got to put, I think you got to put like two. I think you got to put like two bad ones. So we're going to put a plumber. I'm not about to be no plumber. We're going to put a plumber. Oh, let me show y'all so y'all can actually see. So, so it's like this. You know what I'm saying? And then it goes like, like this. So it's plumber. We're going to put singer. Beyonce's assistant. And then what else could I be? Ooh, housewife. Hello, that is the goal, okay? Housewife. Okay, car. Number one, we're gonna put the Tesla. Tesla gotta be number one. Am I spelling Tesla wrong? <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna ask for something you can't even spell, sister? Yeah, there's an S here, my girl. Okay, Tesla. Okay, punch buggy. Punch buggy. I could keep my Kia Soul, or um, it doesn't matter what kind of car. I could just put a driver, cause I don't be wanting to drive. Okay, spouse. I'm gonna put my man, which is current. My man. We're gonna put Winston Duke. Winston Duke. Jason Momoa. 
Oh, we got a lot of men out here. Where the girls at? Because I like girls, too. SZA. And let's put Meg. Meg need to be at the top. Okay. House. Okay. Mansion. Mansion. Apartment. Town. House. And a box. Honestly, a box wouldn't be too bad right now because the rent is through the roof. Let's see. Kids. We're going to put zero as number one. Zero, three, six, four, and five. Okay. So, this is where you put a circle. I need someone to tell me when to stop. Hello? I need you to do me a favor. What do you need? Okay. I'm about to draw a circle and you can't see it but you got to tell me when to stop drawing a circle it's for this game i'm doing for the sleepover all right stop i didn't start drawing it yet so stop. right come on. come on now <laughs> are you ready wait hold on hold yeah. on let me make sure my pen work all right go stop damn that ugly circle okay thanks baby okay so from what i remember this first of all this ugly circle let's start there <laughs> but i think you're supposed to count the spaces i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like this is one this is two is this only two do i count this as three or do I just do two? One and two. I'm gonna just do two. Okay. Okay. Why is this so high? Okay, there we go. Okay, y'all. Uh, so, the eye thingies are still on. They're so cute. I love these. They're all, they're cool and jelly. I like the, the texture. But we have our verdict for our mash. So, it's, it's not as bad as it could have been, okay? It's really not bad. So, I'm a singer that drives a punch buggy. I'm married to my man. Okay, I'm married to my man. I live in a mansion and we have no kids. The verdict is in. The ver and that, that ain't too shabby. I always wanted a punch buggy. I feel like... <laughs> I don't know how I would do with a punch buggy right now because I'm 5'8". I don't think that would be feasible, but I have a small car now, but the Kia Soul is boxy and it has space, so I don't feel crunched up up in there, but punch buggy will do. That's the verdict of our mash, and that is the end of this video. We have read our book, child. We just, we didn't even start the other one because we ain't even gonna bother. I don't think I'm keeping either one of these books on my shelves. They will be hitting the hay they will be hitting the hay immediately so we got a disappointing read i'm so sorry i really was excited about the series i was so sure that these were going to be bangers but lo and behold child i simply don't know what happened but we got a new friend on the island i think i'm gonna stick with the name vine let me know in the comment section below if y'all like that name it was kind of weird <laughs> not going anywhere or taking y'all nowhere and just being in one setting because i'm so used to taking y'all everywhere going somewhere something happening it was so odd to just be in my room for the whole video but let me know if y'all liked it let me know any other popular books that you would like me to read that y'all feel like i slept on and you want to hear my opinion about i'm thinking night circus i'm thinking zodiac zodiac academy i'm thinking uh the poppy war i'm thinking six of crows jade city all those books were so popular and i didn't read any of them like i do i think i have a majority of them on my shelf just never got around to it you know what i'm saying hopefully those will be more successful than this one was because this one was a a true hell no nah. but in the beginning i thought i was gonna love the book but here we are with 2.75 and a dnf before i even started the second book okay so yeah <laughs> it is what it be that book is done let me know in the comment section below if you have read Ninth House, if you enjoyed it, if you like any of Lee Bardugo's other works. Let me know if you prefer Hellbent over Ninth House. Let me know if it gets better. I don't think I'll be finding out because I don't think I care that much. I truly don't give a damn about Galaxy 
and her shenanigans. I don't care. I, I really don't care. Okay. And let me know something that you're going to be doing this week that makes you ha is going to make you happy. This was a very chill weekend. It was nice staying in the house and not spending no money. <laughs> It was fun hanging out, reminiscent of my childhood, you know, just vibing, hanging out with the island. I got my new bracelets. Super cute. I'm going to keep watching Heartstopper, but I just want to close this vlog out. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave this emoji right her to let me know you made it to the end. And, you know, y'all can just chit chat in the comment section below. Let me know if you watched Heartstopper. Let me know what your favorite snack was during sleepovers growing up let me know the last time you had a sleepover i've been seeing a lot of adults do sleepovers which i think is so cute and so fun so yeah i had a good time hanging out with my islanders you know what i'm saying but it's time to close the video okay it's time to close it on down all right so i will see you guys <laughs> in the next video okay always remember read a book keep your life interesting and i will see you next time okay bye